Welcome to Imperfect in an Uncertain World, resources to help you navigate your life with authenticity and purpose. How do you turn a habit into a daily routine that benefits you, that actually puts you on your life path? Let's talk about using a movement to create a way of life. First, I want to share two definitions with you. Uh, one of them will be a movement, and the other one will be what is a way of life. A movement is a series of organized activities towards an objective. For example, creating a more compassionate world has been called a movement. The Charter for Compassion has created strategies to empower individuals, groups, organizations, communities, uh, just everyone out there in the world that wants to be more compassionate, they've created these strategies for people to become more compassionate. That's the goal, to create a more compassionate world. Now, you may decide that you want to be more compassionate and create formal and informal goals to obtain that desire. Now let's talk about a way of life. A way of life is conscious and intentional living. With a movement, you set goals. And with a way of life, you consciously and intentionally incorporate the goals into every moment of your life um, to the best of your ability. And we'll say that because we all, we're not perfect. We're all imperfect in this world. These activities may have an organizational component but you also meet the goals spontaneously. So let's use compassion as a goal. When you see an opportunity to alleviate suffering, you take it. While some of these actions may come about through a creation of strategies, you might see someone who is suffering and you may think to yourself, what can I do? What are the steps I can take? Um, you may see a bigger issue of suffering and say, what are the goals? What are the strategies that I can take? And you might um, rally, you might call your congressman, you might get laws changed as a result of that. In other ways, when your goal is to be compassionate, you may need to have an immediate response. Um, that might be someone who... Um, maybe needs a hug because they're having a really bad day. Um, someone who needs, who hasn't eaten in a while might need a meal. So those would be immediate needs that you could take care of. So what we do is, is that we recognize that a way of life is asking us to incorporate both the immediate and the strategic into our life. So each action, conscious and unconscious, is another step on the path to our way of life. Uh, another way that I might, I, I'm going to give you another example that's not about compassion, but in a way it is, is say that you're someone who wants to live sustainably. So you would take a look at your life. You would have strategies where you separated your recycling. But it would become bigger than that. Perhaps you're the type of person that takes a cup whenever they go to a coffee shop or um, says, I'm not going to use straws. There, there are different ways you do that. Your way of life has become a sustainable way of life. So it's it's in the beginning, you set goals and it becomes a, it's a movement. And then you incorporate it into the whole of your life. So how do we get from a movement to a way of life? A Chinese proverb sums it up nicely. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And so it is with our journey from a movement into a way of life. Each time we meet a goal, we strengthen how we are living our life. We make that commitment until it becomes seamless. We might not even have to think about it anymore. But it's important that we begin where we are. It doesn't matter if you're a novice or well on the way to meeting a goal. You decide how you want to live. You articulate it. Maybe you say it out loud. You write it down. Dance it into being with your body. Then set goals. Create strategies. 
to meet those goals. It's important that you acknowledge any discomfort you have about those first steps. And that's that's part of the journey. That's part of what strengthens us. If, if you're always pushing back things that make you uncomfortable, sooner or later you're just going to stop because it's too hard. And when you slip up, remember, you haven't failed. You just know how you can no longer reach a goal. So you're going to try in a different way. Now, once you find that you're meeting your goals, to incorporate this, to really begin to have this way of life, broaden your horizon. Make those goals bigger. Stretch yourself into new strategies. And all the while keeping the ultimate desire at the forefront. Well, how do you really want to live your life? Start simple and big. Remember, don't give up whenever you have a setback. Regroup. Figure out what went wrong. I mean, that's the best thing is that you don't have to shame yourself or blame yourself. You don't have to be embarrassed. Just figure out what went wrong. Be objective about it. Then continue. Because before you know it, your movement will have evolved into a way of life. Your life will become your message. I want to thank you for watching this video. Like it, share it with your friends, but most importantly, decide what movement is at the foundation of your way of life. And if you're ready to live more fully, contact me for, for Intuitive Mindful Coaching. Together, we can work together to create those strategies to help you live your life fully. Have a great day.